Well, thank everybody for coming out. I'm Rabbi Barry, and I made this little service for us. Um, this is a Shabbat service. We'll be talking a little bit about Rosh Hashanah later, because you can't shut up a rabbi. So um, what, we'll, we'll be talking about Rosh Hashanah, and Julian Brooke is volunteered to blow shofar for us so that so that everybody can hear the shofar for Rosh Hashanah. So, anybody want to start off with singing? Everybody ready to sing? Everybody in a singing kind of mood? All right. Now, I will warn you, first off, I can't sing a note. I'm going to sing at the top of my lungs, and it's not going to be pretty. Okay? Here's why it's cool. Because it's Shabbat, we sing. There's nothing wrong with it, even if we can't sing. As long as we try, as long as we enjoy ourselves, as long as we get into the Shabbat kind of mood, okay? So I ask your forgiveness that I can't sing, and I invite you to sing along with me, because remember, the louder you all sing, the better I sound, because you can't hear me, okay? So let's start off with the Hine Matov, all right? And... He name a tobu manai, shed a him dam yahad. He name a tobu manai, shed a him dam yahad. He name a tobu, shed a him dam yahad. Great. Now, we're going to light the Shabbos candles, but we don't have candles, so we're going to just say the bracha. Okay? Everybody with me? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, asher kedishanu b'mitzvotah, b'tzivanu, b'chad l'vener, shel Shabbat. And next time we come, we will have candles. We will, we will, we will. And if I can get my page turned, we'll turn the page. It's a stick page. All right. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with mitzvot, and who commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbos. May the brightness of these candles banish all gloom, anxiety, and care from my heart, and from the hearts of my loved ones. Together, may this Shabbat bring a peace and serenity, joy and rest, keep a glow within us, O oh God, the spirit of gratitude for your many blessings, so that we may know the sweet taste of contentment and the rich harvest of sharing. Kindle our home and a deeper love for one another, for our people and for all your children. All right, all right, everybody, up with your cup. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has sanctified us with divine commandments, taken pleasure in us, and with love and favor given us this holy Shabbos. You chose us and sanctified us from among all the nations. And with love and favor, you gave us your holy Sabbath as a heritage. Baruch atah Adonai, Makadesh HaShabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. It's actually pretty good. Mm. Mm, tasty. It's actually pretty tasty. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rebecca. All right. Now, if you're comfortable standing, it's uh, when we stand, fine. If you're not, it's cool. Okay? So if you're comfortable standing, please stand for the Barhu, the call to worship. Barhu et Adonai Humbarach, praise God to whom our praise is due. Baruch et Adonai Humbarach Elam Vayet. Praise be God to whom praise is due now and forever. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, whose word brings on the evening, whose wisdom opens heaven's gates, and whose understanding changes the times and seasons and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations, according to the divine will. God creates day and night, rolling away light in the face of darkness, and darkness in the face of light causing the day to pass and bringing on the night, separating day and night. God's name is the host of heaven. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch atah Adonai hamarib arabim. You have loved the house of Israel, your people, with an eternal love. Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts have you taught us. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and we rise up, we will recount your laws and rejoice in the words of your Torah and mitzvot forever. Blessed are you, Adonai, who loves his people Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, ohev amo Yisrael. All right, it's time for the Shema. Please rise for the Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Elchai. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Mahuto Le'olam Vayet. Blessed is God's glorious kingdom forever and ever. Please be seated. Now we're going to chant the Be'ahavta in Hebrew, and then we'll say it in English. Be'ahavta e'anayahecha v'cholavacha v'kamashicha v'kamelgecha Hi, <laughs> Together in English, you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your strength, and with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Find them for a sign upon your hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live in hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai ha'pareh sukkat shalom aleinu ba'al kol amo Yisrael ba'al Yerushalayim. Blessed are you, Adonai, who spread your sukkah of peace upon us and upon all the people of Israel and on Jerusalem. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days God made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God rested from work and was refreshed. All right, if it's your custom, please rise for the tefillah. Adonai seba taftita upiya gita hila teha. Adonai open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohei Avuteinu Vimuteinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Al El Hagadol, the Hagadol, the Hagadol, Elohei Yom, Gomer Ha 
Blessed are you, the holy God. Please be seated. Eternal source of good, we thank you for the numberless gifts and blessings that fill our days, for life itself and its endless variety, for all that sustains body and mind, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, and for the excellence of your Torah which deepens our life and enriches our days. Help us, O oh God, to work for a just and compassionate society where all may share your gifts and enjoy your freedom. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O oh eternal source of peace. Please join me. And give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate amongst the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among the inhabitants of our world. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name have every home and every heart. Okay, please join me for a few moments of silent prayer. I've written a poem here. Well, I have written, I've got a poem here. If you want to read it, or you might just want to close your eyes, meditate on the week that was, meditate on the holidays coming up. We'll take a few moments. With me, let's sing the O Shalom. O Shalom, 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 Say shalom, Yah say shalom, Amen. 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 May the one who makes peace in the high heavens make peace for us, all Israel, and together we say, Amen. 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 All right, before we do the Mishaberach, I'm going to talk, because that's what rabbis do. We talk. First of all, I want to thank you all for coming. 
and I hope we make this a regular thing, and I hope you enjoy it. Second of all, I want to thank Julian for coming out for to blow the shofar, which I'm going to ask him to do in a second. I want to thank Lynn for and the Collette Family Services for putting this together. And what I want to talk about is we're getting ready for the holidays. All right, thank you. Era of Rosh Hashanah is Sunday night. Okay, it's a time of introspective. It's a time that we look back on the year and. At Rosh Hashanah, what do we say? Athenu Makane. Please, God, look at our sins, forgive us. Pardon us our sins, forgive us. Athenu Makane. Okay? What we want to do is we want to look back. Have we harmed somebody? Did we do it directly or did we do it unintentionally? Did we say we're sorry? Okay? We're kind of like getting our spiritual house in order this time of year. Because in Rosh Hashanah, we ask for forgiveness, and in Yom Kippur, as, it, as our sages tell us, God writes what he's going to write in the book of life for us. Okay? So I just want you to think about one thing. Keep it simple and nice and short today. Is last year, this last year, did we do everything we wanted to do? Did we accomplish what we wanted to do? Did we hurt somebody that we didn't intend to? Did we hurt somebody we did intend to? Have we asked their forgiveness? Before we ask God's forgiveness, we have to ask that person's forgiveness that we intentionally or unintentionally hurt. Only then can we go to the new year strong and whole. Okay, see, nice and simple. Now, the next thing I want to do, is because I don't want to keep him waiting all day, is, and he also, it's kind of cool, I want Julian to come up here and blow the shofar for us. Puts us in the mood for the coming weekend. I, uh, I had a couple people ask me about the shofar, so shall I take a minute or two and tell you about it? Please yes. do. Okay. Um, we're all familiar with the short, curved chauffeurs that we see all the time, which is a ram horn, as you know, right? And in the last number of years, we've gotten used to seeing these really big corkscrew ones, and that comes from an antelope. I thought at first that this came from an ebex, which we'll come back to, but it's not. This is from a different kind of antelope, and it's called a Jemsbach chauffeur. And Jemsbach is apparently the Afrikaans word for the type of antelope that this comes from. Uh, and it comes from that area of Africa primarily. And so they're a little bit rarer. A, an Ebeck chauffeur, I've never actually seen one in person. They look kind of like this, but they're bigger. And they have just sort of a half curve. We've seen pictures of them, and a lot of times in the movies where they're old temple days and so forth, that's what you see them play. But those are rare and expensive, and I don't have one, and I haven't seen one. So this is an antelope as well, and it's called a Jemsbach. And with that, we'll see what we can get out of it.